Have you ever wondered why cut creases were created? Hi everyone, it's Smitha. Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple before and after that will explain the reason why cut creases were created. So if you're ready, let's begin. The first step is to apply an eyeshadow base for which I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. While this will soften the skin on the lid, it'll also form a sticky base, which works great, especially when you're using shimmer eyeshadows because they show more on tacky, sticky surfaces. Today, I'm going to be using the Empowered Palette by Huda Beauty. I'm going to start with the shade Confident with a small pinpoint shader brush. I'm going to start marking my crease by looking straight in the mirror. Now, because I have hooded eyes and this is my fold line, I'm going to go above it and mark a point right in the center and then one in the inner corner and the other one in the outer corner. Between these dots, I'm going to mark two more points. So now when I keep my eye open, I should still be able to see those points and I can clearly see them and that's where I'll have my new crease. I'm going to lift my brow so I can clearly see these points and I'm going to join them with the same eyeshadow. And that's going to be my new crease. From the palette, I'm going to dip into Legacy with a flat, stiff brush and I'm going to start dabbing over this line to soften it. And then I'm going to use a blending brush to blend over it to diffuse it further. Using a fine tip cotton swab with micellar water, I'm going to clean up right beneath the new crease that we created before I cut my crease for which I'm going to be using a little bit of concealer with a flat shading brush. I'm going to go right underneath that crease we just created and then I'm going to paint my entire lid. Now we have a cut crease with a new crease and a larger lid space. And if you actually observe my lid now, it's doubled up in size from my natural crease or fold line. I'm going to use a strip of sticky tape in the outer corner to get that sharp edge. And then with the shade Confident, I'm going to deepen the outer corner by buffing it out with a blending brush. All you have to do is push the eyeshadow towards the center of the lid. And then I'm going to use the shade Legacy in the center of the lid. Using a larger blending brush, I'm going to go over both the eyeshadows so there's a seamless blend. Let's go ahead and remove that tape. And as you can see, it's given me that sharp edge. I'm going to clean up underneath with some concealer and be right back. Next, using the shade Confident with a small flat angled brush, I'm going to stamp it very close to my lashes in my lower lash line before I use Legacy with a flat stiff brush to smudge over it. Now using a fluffy brush, I'm going to blend both of these eyeshadows to get that seamless blend. This is my favorite part to add the loose pigment. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Dormant Cherry on top and I'm going to link everything in the description box below. That is absolutely stunning. Using the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Nude Pencil, I'm going to line the outer half of my lower waterline to brighten things up. To finish up, I'm going to curl my lashes before using mascara. And for mascara today, I'm going to be using the Milani Highly Rated Mascara. And for lashes, I'm going to be using Tati Lashes in Feelin' Flirty. I just want to show you the before one more time. And here is the after. So if you've been curious all along as to why this style of eye makeup, which is cut crease, was even created, it was created to give you a dramatic contrast that make your eyes look bigger and more defined, almost like Bambi eyes. Why I personally like it is because I've hooded eyes and it gives me an option to create a bigger lit space. Overall, the eyes definitely look more bigger and brighter and more defined. To finish up, I'm going to first line my lips with a brow pencil. I'm using Koki Cosmetics here, but you can use any fine tip brow pencil, which does not bleed in the edges. I pretty much use this with every lipstick. It's a neutral shade, so it goes well with every shade. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using Thrive Cosmetics. This is the impactful smoothing lipstick in the shade Jenny. It's a beautiful pinky mau. 
And here is the finished look. If you plan to recreate, don't forget to check out the description box because I've linked all the products in the description box just below this video. You can also click on the view products link embedded on the left bottom corner of the video. And if you recreate, please don't forget to tag me. I also have my social media links listed under the video in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys. Bye.